Hi, I am Akshit Sangomla. I work as a correspondent with the Down to Earth magazine and I cover climate change, science and policy. In 2022, extreme weather events were worsened by the rising global temperatures according to the State of the Global Climate 2022 report. Warming caused by greenhouse gases, which were at a record high due to anthropogenic activities, is also responsible for some of these events. To read a detailed report on the impact of rising temperatures on extreme weather events, click the link in the description below. In March 2022, Dome, Concordia and Vostok, two sites in Antarctica, recorded temperatures that were 35 degrees Celsius above the average for March and 15 degrees Celsius above the previous record years. From mid-June to the end of August, China faced its most extensive and long-lasting heat wave on record. During this period, 366 locations around the country broke their highest temperature record. While southern parts of the country suffered from a 20 to 50 percent rainfall deficit, the Yangtze River reached its lowest level on record at Wuhan. Europe sweltered across the summer months due to severe heat events. In mid-July, the United Kingdom recorded a maximum temperature of 40 degrees Celsius for the first time, an occurrence made 10 times more likely due to climate change. In June, Urbe in Rome had recorded 40 degrees Celsius as well. Many places in Germany and Sweden also faced their highest temperatures on record in July. Tunisia recorded its hottest June, while Smara in Morocco recorded a temperature of 49.1 degrees Celsius on July 10. Water levels in many of the major rivers, such as the Rhine, Loire and Danube, fell to a record low. Germany, France, the UK and Italy recorded the driest periods in almost 50 years. Drought in the Horn of Africa intensified with the fourth and fifth consecutive poor rainfall seasons. Droughts also continued in Chile, in South America and the western and southern states in the United States. In the spring and summer season of 2022, the heat waves in India and Pakistan brought down the yield of wheat crops, pushing the government of India to ban wheat exports from the country. The devastating Pakistan floods in August, which covered 9% of the total geographical area of the country, killed around 1,700 people and affected 33 million. Nigeria was flooded throughout the rainy season, which was exacerbated in October due to very heavy rainfall, causing 603 deaths. From the middle of January to early February, three tropical storm systems battered Madagascar with extremely heavy rains. The rainfall started with an intertropical convergence zone in mid-January, which is the region where the northeast and southwest trade winds converge to form a band of clouds with rainfall and occasional thunderstorms near the equator. This gave way to the first tropical storm Anna in the last week of January and then Cyclone Batsirai in the first week of February. Just after Batsirai, Tropical Storm Dumako impacted Madagascar on February 15 and Tropical Cyclone Emnati made landfall in the country on February 23. There were a total of six tropical weather systems in Madagascar, according to the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. Hurricane Fiona, which tagged up to Canada, became one of the strongest storm systems to make landfall in the country. A Derecho, which is a long-lived series of thunderstorms, also affected the Balearic Islands in Spain, across Corsica in France, Italy, Slovenia, Austria and Zikia, with a total track distance of 1,600 km. Over Corsica, wind gusts of 225 km per hour were recorded, the strongest reliably observed wind gust on record for metropolitan France. As the greenhouse gas emissions keep rising, and with the looming El Niño in the coming summer, more such events will become likely in the time to come. To know more about the latest news on science, technology and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description.